Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Coming in with this week's power book, yeah. to Ghost, and uh, what what is it called? Play the Game. Play the Game. Listen, for all of you all that are spoiled, which is 95% <laughs> of y'all watching this, like I said, y'all got us. Yeah. So y'all got more than a 10-minute review on last week, and you're going to continue to get more than 10 minutes, depending on what the episode gives us. Exactly. And we'll fill y'all in on that a little later. Yeah. But if you are new to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free 99. Like yeah. I keep telling y'all, at some point, we're going to start charging for the little scale. Right. Go ahead and rate the video, <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down. To be honest with you, at this point, it don't even matter. You've already, already been, been counted. counted. So if you keep coming back every week, then just know that we appreciate y'all and just kick back. We cousins now. Yeah. We ain't cooking y'all nothing, but we cousins. We family. Let's get into this review. Let's get on into it. So uh, we pick up this week on the episode. We see Kane and Drew riding around, uh, picking up the money, you know, because you got to collect that bread. So when they got back home, Diane was like, what the heck took y'all so long? I was like, what you waiting on them for though? Yeah. <laughs> so Diane pointed out to some to them that there was a potential problem within the organization because one of their crew members, Little Wop, aka a part of the GT with the GTG G -G or crew or ninjas or whatever you want to call them, they decide they want to floss on social media. Now you so know, 2020. Yeah, you you can't give no ninjas nothing. Without them wanting to floss it on social media, and then you had a nerve when people would tell you about yourself, they hate us. Oh, yeah. Ain't, ain't nobody hating on you, man. We just trying to protect you, man. Yeah, keep everybody safe. Right. You showing all your money. You showing everything you got going on. Come on now, bro. Yeah, that's just like people that you see on social media now when they get a whole lot of money. They on um, live talking about, so, yo, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo. yeah. Throwing you know money. how stupid you look? You just, you just went to the bank and pulled out your paycheck and threw it on the bed and now like you got a whole lot of leave. <laughs> Come on, that's your paycheck. And then when you get robbed, you talk about some, well, somebody set me up. No, you set yourself up. Yeah, you was one flossing on social media Crazy. and they saw it. Yeah, so she was dying was like, we need to tell mom. They was like, no. But by that time, Mo had came around the corner and heard and was like, y'all got 10 seconds to let me know what the fuck y'all talking about. So Diane showed her the video and she was like, that needs to be taken care of. But Kane wanted to go take care of himself. So we see uh, Mo got on the phone with Lorenzo because it seemed like everything that she wants to do in the organization, she has to run it through him. So... That kind of let us know now that she really not in charge. She's a yes ma'am. Yeah, so everything that happens, she has to get his stamp of approval before she can move forward. So she was like, I want to send Kane over here to take care of this. He was like, no, you need to send Drew. I was like, send who? Yeah, him? <laughs> send Drew? It's you, interesting. Yeah. It's you, very interesting. You know, you, you want to send, I, I the way I see Drew is the CFO, the Chief Financial Officer. <laughs> he just handles the money that's when it Andre. comes in. Yeah, that's, that's, Andre. that's Andre. But Kane, he the killer. So he he not the CEO. He the C, he the CKO, the Chief Killing Officer. You stupid. So that's the one that you need <laughs> to send. So that's what Mo was like. No, we need to send Kane. Drew is not ready for this kid, and I totally agree. Yeah. He he. I mean, nothing about him says street. But that goes without saying. Like Lorenzo knows something that everybody else doesn't know. And like Lorenzo yeah. told um, Auntie Monique, was like, you're still treating them like the little boys that they were when they were in the house obeying your every rule, every right. move and whatever you had to say. Right. These aren't the same kids. And obviously because his ear is to the street, he knows some things about the way that Kane moves. Yeah. That he's not too <clears throat> comfortable with him long term. So we need to go ahead and get Drew up to speed so that he can take over this organization. Because this dude right here, what I heard in his voice was, keep acting like that and he going to expire soon. Yeah. So you need to get Drew up to par so he can continue this legacy. Because this ain't even what I wanted long term. Right. So it seemed like to me, and looking at how everything is starting to flow now, it's almost like people on the outside don't really know that Mo is in charge per se. I should I, not. Because I think they are still thinking Lorenzo, even though he's locked up, I'm not sure if everybody know that he's locked up. Oh, everybody knows he's locked up. Do they? Oh, yeah. I said that to say this. I would thought that Mo would have went over there, herself, over there herself and be like, hey, Lil Wop, 
I know you making that bread. You doing good for our organization. You know, we good. But you need to pipe this skit down. It seemed like he would have been more respectful. He would have respected her more. You see what I'm saying? I because saying, and the now. reason why I'm saying that because Drew went over there, which was a mistake. So he tried to be the nice guy, you know. You know, when he walked in there, Lil Wop was freaking sniffing cocaine off his, off, gun. Off his gun. I'm like, this dude is crazy. First and of you all, said, bad move right here. Yeah. So how you gonna be how you gonna be a person that runs yeah. but you a user as well? Yeah. So he go all right, Tommy. Right. So he going to be like, you know, I'm tired of Mo, always on my back, riding my dick and all this, yada yada yada. You know, why are you here? And Drew was like, I'm here because Mo wanted to give you congratulations on doing so good for the organization. He was like, yeah, you know, we over here popping, you know, da da you know, getting our social media. Matter of fact, let's go, let's go now. He just slapped that phone and out He just got the phone out his hand and was like, here we, here we go. This is the reason why Drew wasn't supposed to go over there. Because when you walked in the dope player, you were supposed to let him know right off the gate. Hey, look, we seen you on social media, player. This is bad for organization. You're going to bring heat on us. Police is going to come to you. You're going to go to the interrogation room. You're going to ride us all out, and we all done. But nah, he wanted to sit and be played Mr. Nice Guy, which I believe Mo knew that he was going to do. And so before it got popping off too bad, yeah, Kane had to come. Real killer. Kane had to come and rescue, which we knew Kane was going to come in. I was hoping. Well, to I, Mo I was kind of hoping a little bit that Drew was going to handle it. I did too. But nah. I knew he wasn't, though. Yeah. Like you didn't either, so. Yeah. So, Kane had to do that. And, of course, I was like, Kane going to let this go off all quiet. And, of course, he shoot up. Bop, 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 bop. They jump out, go outside to run. Cops. And the cops out there. So, they run it from the cops. And guess who the, one of the cops is? <laughs> Mo's dude, Ramirez. I guess I'm saying his name right. I don't know what So, it he recognized that it was Kane and Drew. And he was like, God. Throwing it. I got to do something. To so, keep these boys yeah. out of jail because this so, is my woman's ma- yeah. oh, boys. So his partner is running after them. So he decide, let me roll down here and tell him that, oh, the dudes went this way. You know what? Don't let him get away. Come on, bro. Come on. Don't let him get away. Because he was a dead motherfucker. Yeah. So wasn't for that, that officer was going to be dead, which was going to bring more heat on the, on the organization because I don't know how Marimaz M- 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 was going to spin that one. <laughs> Seeing that she's supposed to be protecting Mo, so I, I'm so glad that he pulled him away because we saw later in the episode where uh, hmm. she was talk, he was talking to Mo and telling Mo, "Hey, look, you need to pause the organization. You know what? The money just needs to stop right now because the heat is on. Yeah. They looking at them boys over at GTC, and she was like, GTE. I mean, what the hell is name? GTG, whatever. That's a fucked up. Sound like a car." Hmm. Sound like a freaking dance group. <laughs> but uh, he was like, you need, to pause. you need to put a pause on on what you're doing because what these boys is doing, the heat is on them. She was like... They already well, had people patrolling the area and everything. Yeah. So she was, she, was, she was like, I can't afford to pause. And I was like, wait a minute. Here we so you're trying to tell me you ain't stacking no paper? That's Why are you making the paper? On my yeah. nerves. Come on, now. You should ought to be able to pause for three to six months. Yeah. At least. That's what happened with coronavirus yeah. came through here. <laughs> All these organizations and these companies we thought was doing real good. Yeah. 30 days, they looking at the government for a guy doing handout. Yeah. Auntie Mo, you one of them? Y'all ain't <laughs> stack y'all paper all this time? Y'all running... Get you got the Fendi she, she, didn't get, she didn't get on the PPP program. Hey, you got your Gucci, the, pay, the paycheck protection you program. Ain't never lie. You better go to the pawn shop, pawn some of that in. So you better go to IRS.gov or whatever the site is <laughs> and submit that form for that PPP. <laughs> 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 so then we got a scene. We jump over to with Davis, Paula, and Tasha. Davis is pissed off. He was like, Tasha, I'm tired of you leaving me out here with my A hanging out. You need to stop lying. <laughs> I said, impossible. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> so he's pretty much telling Tasha, hey, look, Sax was able to convince the judge that you killed Silver. So I know if he convinced, convinced the judge of that, I know he can convince the jury. She's like, jury? A jury. So Tasha was like, you know what? Let's do this. Put me on the stand. Okay. I was like, oh, hell no. First of all, you can't stop lying enough. And you can't keep <laughs> your story together. Nope. You say one thing and hang yourself up and you try to tell another lie to bring that one back and that don't work. That's why you in the situation you in now. Exactly. So you they probably could have been home by now. Right. So he was he was like, they was like, no, no. We are not 
putting you on the stand. But of course, since she's the client and they working for her, they was like, yeah. And I was like, y'all just going to let that go yes, that right. easy? But I give it to uh, McLean. He came up with a great idea. Still not sure it was worth a half a million dollars, but it was a good, <laughs> it's, it's a good idea. He created a freaking mock trial to see if Tasha can first get past the single cross-examination, which she did well, perfect. No, she, to, that wasn't even a cross-examination. Well, with a single examination, I didn't mean to say cross. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. With a single examination, which Is she that ate, even what it's called? I think On the stand. Yeah, she, yeah. It was in a freaking examination. <laughs> but before she got to the examination, because she was sitting in her in her cell, and here come that uh, Marshall girl. I can't think of her name. I think they said her name. I can't but, remember her name either. But it don't even matter. They picked her up, put in the event. She was like, where the hell y'all taking me? And so she was thinking that she was getting ready to go in front of the judge. Right as now. As they right now, they agreed on. She was like, I can't go up here like this in this orange. I was like, yeah. Yeah. So that's what happens when you're in jail. Paula took her to this room, you know, uh, you know. They oh they said they got a dressing house. room out at the prison, but uh, yeah. So she went in there. Duda hooked that up. <laughs> yeah. Duda. So she got all fixed up, the Tasha that we know. She all, looked nice. Yep, looked real nice because the whole point was we need to make her look like she's a good mother, that she and ain't this innocent. street hood chick out here calling shots as a king, well as a, a queen pin. So, like I said, she nailed the first examination. And the second challenge was bringing in God doing Tamika to cross-examine. Because uh, cause she was flexing her muscles like, you know, I nailed I it. I got this. this, you know. He said, oh, yeah, you did good. But let's see if you can make it past his cross-examination. So, I said, well Tamika gets in that joker and she she convinced me. <laughs> I was like, I know the real story. Yeah, she <laughs> Oh, guilty, guilty. She convinced me that Tasha called the shots on Silva's murder and Ghost Murder. Cause she would let And possibly Angela's. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well darn. Which clearly what we was thinking that Tasha was not ready and what's that's the only way that McLean them could get through to her. Yeah, to show her that she wasn't ready. That that you that you not ready. So at the end of that little debacle with uh Tamika with them. McLean was like, hey, you need to get on the team with us. Matter of fact, we can be that that new black dream, dream team. team. <laughs> I said, that's a good look. It really is a good look. And uh, Tamika was like, no. So he brought up the fact of the matter because Paula did some, some additional research and found out that mm -hmm. uh, Sax signed off for her to represent Tasha. And so he was like, she was like, you know about that? Yeah. Yeah, I know about yeah. that. Yeah, we know about that. So he tried to use that to manipulate her, but it, it just kind of didn't work. She was like, just make sure you send me my check. <laughs> send me my check, player. Mm -hmm. So Paula was like, can we drop this case now? Please, can we drop this yeah, case? Yeah, Paula's not feeling this at all. Yeah. I'm with Paula. Yeah. First of all, I need you to, Tasha, just tell the truth to them so that they can represent you correctly. Exactly. That's exactly. Yeah. So I'm with Paula. Like, if you're not going to tell me the truth, you're not going to have me out here looking crazy. Yeah, so uh, McLean picked up that Tamika's deal is something personal with Sax. So that's why he wants to stick around. And uh, he said, matter of fact, we need to double down on this dead going case. So uh, we see the scene once again, Tariq come to class to Chronicle Studies late once again. I was like... We on the episode number three. <laughs> and you have been and on you time still yet. late. Come on, bro. You trying to get out of it. He got a lot going on, though. Yeah, he do. But, but I mean, you got to pay to play, man. Well. Yeah. He did. He, he put this ball in motion. He really did. So, so the professor, I can't think of this professor's name, but. The white he, guy. Yeah. He challenged him on some Shakespeare. And um, Tariq gave good arguments about, about the Shakespeare. It was all good. So. Uh, later on in the episode, we saw that Tariq had to write a paper about this Shakespeare's thing. And him and uh, Queen Latifah's daughter was, well, what, what he was? I don't know her name. Yeah, I, I can't I can't think of the name. Lauren? Yeah. Lauren, that's her name. Yeah, so they was looking at their grades. So she got an A on her paper, but he got an NC. And I was like, you know, it ain't been that long since I've been to school. But I don't know what an NC. I know what an ABC or Not F complete. is. Uh, but it come no credit. That's what oh, it no credit. Yeah, it represented on his paper. He got a no credit, 
And so she was apologizing to him because she was kind of the reason why he switched the way he wrote his paper. Because after that little debacle with the uh, professor, she was like, what you trying to do? You trying to fail? I mean, you can't be challenging him like that. Yeah, you have to you have to play the game. And that's one of the things with that we talk about. We so tired of playing the uh, game. Us as black people have to play the game to get along. Mm -mm. You know, just let me be me and do by what I whatever I do. Let that be good enough. Don't let me have to play this game with you in order to prove that I'm good enough to be here or good enough to do something. Exactly. And because of that, Tariq changed the way he wrote his paper. And he went back and confronted the professor. was like, my paper was good. Why did you give me a no credit? And the professor was like, yeah, your paper was good. But in so many words, I don't grade papers. I just teach y'all. You need to go see. He said that's beneath me. Yeah, that's beneath me. Okay. It seemed a little racist to me because he was like, you need to go see Professor uh, Reynolds. So I'm like, so you gonna have the black dude got to do the hard work? Yeah, of course. So to read go it's America. Yeah. So to read go and confront uh, Professor Reynolds, like you know, why you fail me? And because the paper was good, he was like, yeah, the paper was good, but you want your authentic self. He was like, Tariq was like, well. I was going to write the paper the way I said it in class, but I thought I had to pretty much go along and get along and do good with the professor. And he was like, That's no. The problem. He said, we cannot do that. Regardless, we cannot change for them. But professor, that sound all well and good and everything. But look what it got him. But look what it got him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a good argument. Execution. Horrible. Yes. So then we see uh, the scene where about this inmate, and we've come to find that her name is Lala. So we see Tasha. They in, I guess they in the lunchroom, and they have a lunch. And Tasha's like, "This is my opportunity to get her this morning after pill." So she goes over, slams it on a tray, like you dropped something. And so they have a little conversation back before. So she was like, you know, uh, why are you trying to make friends now? You know, ain't you get ready to get out? Which I don't understand. Why would you think that? By her, uh, she yeah, about to be in there for she about to be in there for a minute. Uh, but come to find out that Lala needs the morning after pill because she had been sleeping with the CEO, the correctional officer. She said it's actually a good pastime to get some dangling while I'm up in here. You know, my coochie get a little wet sometimes, so I got that wop. So I need the CEO to take care of that wop. I'm not doing this with you today. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. So, so while while they was talking, this maintenance dude over in the corner had his cell phone and was like and I said, taking mm. pictures. And I was like, who is this dude? So Tasha still talking to her like, you know, we need to be friends. I like the way you move in here. And you you really had that weight around here. Yeah. So I see the way you, you know, got the moves on, you know, the marshal. So I need your help. So, I don't know exactly what their relationship going to turn into because they really kind of didn't tell us. But it flipped over. We seen that dude walk to the back, and he went back there. What we know now is Lorenzo. So, Lorenzo's sitting up in his cell drinking his canned Coronas and skit. Like, what dang? <laughs> um, me, I don't like no canned Coronas. To me, they taste different than the bottle ones. So, if I go to a place I want a Corona, I ask him, is it in a bottle? How do we get here? Yeah. So, I don't <laughs> like him. But he was back there drinking them. But come to find out, he was taking the pictures for Lorenzo. And Lorenzo, uh, the dude was like, well, we can see that she ain't sleeping with the CEO. So, I don't know why they care, you know, what the CEO is doing. But, I don't they know. They need to know who's getting close to him. That's all. Yeah. Uh, so... So I don't. We don't really know exactly who this dude is yet. And what he's doing. And yeah. Why. Exactly. So we're gonna definitely. Uh, well, it's definitely an informant. Yeah, we definitely gonna keep a good eye on him. So then we have a, the scene. We see uh, Zeke and Tariq. Uh, so Zeke come in like, hey, I got another paper due in a couple of days, and it's the same due date as Tariq's paper. He was like, bro, why you ain't tell me soon? This due the same time as mine. And he was like, well, I just forgot. Now see, see Zeke, on my nerves. yeah, Zeke is getting on my nerves is because he getting to the point now that he just not doing nothing for himself. Mm -hmm. He just want to ride on and and, uh, play ball. and play ball and make the NBA without putting in no work, which I don't think that's Monet's plan for him. But 
I'm like, dude, you need you need to pick up your slack. Because Tariq can't do this by himself. Because that's the reason why he freaking didn't write his paper right. Because he was trying to write exactly. your paper and write his paper. So, he was like, I'm sorry, dog. You know, I'm going to get it together. Because Tariq told him, say, you know, if I fail, you going to fail. You know, I I'm carrying you, There's dog. There's no you without me right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm carrying you. So, uh, Zeke was like, pretty much, how can I make it up to you? He was like, hey. You go on to your Aunt Renee's for dinner, you know, I need a favor. And this is when Tariq really learns that Monet don't want, don't him, want him back over, over the house. I said, whoa. And um, I was like, dang, but I think Tariq already kind of knew that. Yeah, that's why he was That's like why that. he was trying to get back over there to, I guess, try to smooth it out with her. But that's when he found that out. But I thought about what I was saying last week about Zeke. That I wonder if Zeke's Monet's ticket out of the game. Because you remember that it was a scene where her, uh, uh, Monet and Do Diana was talking. Come to find out, she wanted to go to school and play ball too. But no way it was like, you know what? The WNBA don't pay enough. They only play 75 racks a year. Yeah. NBA started 100000 You know, that ain't enough money for the family. None of it is enough. She was like, that ain't enough for the family. And I was like, what the hell does her playing ball have to do with the family? But it made me thought back to what I said last week. It looked like she looking for a ticket out the game through these kids hmm. because you let Zeke, your nephew, go to school, but, but you won't let your own daughter go to school, which makes no it sense. Weird. Yeah. Because you say like you will want your daughter to go to school to as make well. make sure that she's not a part of this. Yeah. Now, now I can appreciate you saying, hey, yeah, you go to school and you try the basketball thing, but make sure you have a plan B because mm -hmm. we all know a basketball, if you know, if you tear, tear ACL or something like that, you done for a while. A leg injury or something like that, an arm injury, a wrist, you know, you, 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 you done. But I thought it was right like, weird for her to like veer her away. So I'm like, what do you want Diane to do? That's what I was like. So like, do you want her to, to get in the game? So you want to exit out through Zeke's money if he makes it to the NBA and she step in and I, I don't know. Yeah. Once don't. we get to the conversation about her and Lorenzo when. I'll, I'll say my piece about that because it kind of makes sense now. Yeah, so I, man, that's exactly what I'm going to next. Then we see the scene where, where Mo and Lorenzo is in the bed because he can get conjugal visits, you know. <laughs> he can get that wop while he can in prison. Can we start with the wop? <laughs> <laughs> he can get that wop while he in prison. So they begin to argue about the organization because he wants Diane to go to school and he wants Drew of course, as we know, to run the organization. And Mo like, Drew is not ready. And no, I don't want Diane to go to school. So they begin to argue about that. But what you wanted to say? Uh, that uh, Lorenzo said, I never meant for this to be a permanent thing. Yeah. Like, it was almost as if once he went to jail, you had enough money to live. Y'all yeah. had enough money to do what y'all needed to do because I'm in here for life. Yeah. So what you're doing is all on you. Yeah. Yes, I am I am the muscle behind all of this because this is what you want to do. But this was never the plan for this to go as far as it's going. Yeah. So that's why I was like, what's the deal? Like, is she molding her daughter to take yeah. over and be her? Right. When in actuality, Lorenzo wanted it to be a done deal. Yeah. But somebody in the comments last week brought this up and I didn't even think about it. But why is it that James St. Patrick and all of them and Tommy and all of them, why is it, it that these people over here are running the way that they run? Yeah. They are the equivalent to you and y'all don't know each other. Right. Y'all don't know about each other. But are they? I don't know. Because we only see one crew that's working for them. Tommy and, and Ghost them had a whole bunch of people. Whole bunch of organizations. So we just only they know did. we just only know GT, GTG right now. Little Wop. That's all we know. A little Wop. And they whack. <laughs> so I, yeah. But one thing I can see, I can see the bumping heads of Mo and Lorenzo, because Mo wants to do it one way, he wants to do it the other. But I'm wondering now if if Mo gonna cut him off and do things her way. Because detrimental. Yeah. So I don't 
I don't know, because she seemed like she just told it over all this, you know, with the Uncle Frank showing up, and now the little Watt them acting up. <laughs> so, I just think she just over it, and I think she might end up cutting ties with Lorenzo, which I think... I don't think so. Uh, which may be a brutal mistake, but we'll, we'll stick around and see it. But there was a weird scene... I'm going to say, I guess it may be another out-of-placement um, scene like last week with the girl in, in the, uh, uh, oh, in the, in the college, where the professor is talking to this other student about this book. And she was like, you know what? The way that you talked about this woman in this book and did this woman. I need that in my life. <laughs> yeah. Sign me up, professor. Mm -hmm. I want some of that. Yeah, she wanted to give him the, yeah. the wop. And he was like, you know, yeah. that was a long time ago. It Matter of fact, fiction. I'm not, I'm not, as fiction, I'm not that same dude. That girl don't exist. And so he turned it down. I was like, okay, professor, maybe, maybe the professor do have some integrity. You know, maybe, maybe I got him wrong. He just, he, you know, him and um, Professor Ingram, had, uh, Milgram had a thing. So that's maybe why he did that, what he did last week with her. And they grew and grown. But he heard her coming in the office. Because the old girl was very ready to walk on out. She was like, you know what? He don't want this WAP, so I'm going to go find somebody else that want it. So. <laughs> I'm not doing this. <laughs> on a Sunday on the Lord's Day. On the Lord's Day. I mean, the Lord was the one that created the Stop. WAP. Stop. <laughs> I don't want to. He the one that created it. Stop. <laughs> you what, was to, around, what was around? You going to hell. What was around the first or the second day he created the woman? Continue. And he gave her the wop. <laughs> wap. That's what you get. I, I said a wop. He is not. I keep on saying a wop. <laughs> the wap. So he hears her come in and he was like, wait a minute, and shut the door. And so he goes to banging this chick because he wants to make Professor Ingram jealous. And it worked. Oh, it worked. And he made sure it was extra loud too, you know. Hitting up against the wall. Boom, boom, boom. I thought she was going to bust in there, but she just packed her stuff up and her sexually frustrated self just marched up out of her office and went on where she came from. Yeah. But so, it's a student. Yes. It's a student. A student. Still a student. Yeah. I so you, Oh, man. So, yeah. So, so this black guy, did you just ruin, did you just body your career? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And I'm wondering if this girl going to use that against him. Hold him, by, hold him by the balls with that to get Just something. think about it. If you were in a position that she's in. Oh, yeah, I would. Yeah, I would own the professor. Yeah, matter of fact, I'd be sliding through school. Man. Yeah, wouldn't yeah. do a thing. All right, so this is, I guess, I'm going to say the defining moment of the show uh, with Tariq and Monet. Because I had always been wondering what's going to be their relationship. What is this going to morph into? So we saw that Tariq and Zeke was sitting in the dorm room, knock at the door, is Mo. Mo was like, Zeke, I thought you said Tariq was gone. And she was like, Auntie Mo, I'm so sorry, but Tariq really wanted to talk to you. So she told him to go in on downstairs. So Tariq go and grab this laptop bag and was like, here, flip it open. It's full of cash. She was like, I don't need this. I'm good. I'm like, um, maybe not because, you know, Ramirez told you to pause the business <laughs> and you said you couldn't afford it. Maybe you need to go ahead and grab that bag, man. <laughs> so you can pause the business so you can pay your goddamn bills. Uh, but to reset, this was a couple of hours of work. Yeah, and I didn't even have to leave campus. How long did it take you and your boys to come up with something like this? Yeah. How long did it take y'all to make the paper? So that kind of let me, I was kind of, that kind of let me know was like, how powerful is y'all organization? You know, how is things really running that y'all ain't making no paper like that? Tariq able to do that by himself, which he only been in the game for but a minute. So he's really still a rookie. And you're yeah. supposed to be a professional. And you, she didn't say that she was impressed, but the way that she looked at him, like, this little kid made this much money in a couple of hours? Mm -hmm. Like, how in the hell? And, and so, it's a different territory. So Tariq was like, I need to work for you. See, the thing about it, I need a supply. She was like, you need a supplier? She was like, yeah, I need a supplier. Uh -huh. So Tariq was like, either you do it or I flunk out of school and then Zeke gonna flunk out of school. So in other words, either way, if you don't help me, I can't help you. I can't help you. So she was like, this is the deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna help you, but Zeke can't be nowhere near the business. He said, that's good. 
I'm good. He probably was like, I don't want to live with yeah, you no way. Yeah, so, I, you know, I can move. And then we saw real quick, we saw that him and Brayden moved into this little fat, fat place. You know, he's called the Pussy Palace. <laughs> Brayden is a mess. <laughs> A whole so, lot of privilege and just want something to do. So now we got to be like, okay, this new business deal that Tariq and Mo got, how is this going to play out? You know, because right. Tariq only doing this for the duration of the school time. So if Tariq does real good and make them a lot of money, which I know he is because he's making a whole lot of money for himself, at the end of the school year, when he decides, like, this is it, I'm yeah. out. Mm-hmm. That my mama's been is paying. Mo and Lorenzo them gonna let him out like that, oh, no. or is that gonna create another problem? Like you in, you know? Yeah, being in a gang is like being in a church, man. You gotta get jumped out, man. So yeah, so we gonna we gonna stick around and see uh, exactly how this relationship goes and how deep this thing is gonna get, because we see that uh, Mo yes. gave Lorenzo a call and was like, I hired Tariq. And so he was like, what's his weakness? She said, he is a weakness. Yeah, right? I said, darn. I'm like, obviously he not a weakness because he helping out your your nephew in school. So he really not that weak, but he is weak. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't <laughs> had to play him like that. That's what we're saying. Yeah. So um, so Lorenzo decides that he's going to give Tasha a call in the burner phone that he supplied. Because she thought when the call came in that it was Tariq. But it was Lorenzo was like, Tariq is going to be working for us. You better make sure that he listened to us. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. I said, well, God. Yeah. All right. So, I'm, but at the end of the day, I'm still trying to figure out since, since we see that Lorenzo is still calling the shots, it looked like Mo made that call herself. Unless I missed something about no, how, she made that call. About Tariq coming on board. So, yeah. So, he was like, we need to find his weakness. Uh, which we know Tariq's weakness is Tasha at the moment. Exactly. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna figure that out that he's trying to get her out of out of prison. I mean, it's very obvious, you know, to us that's yeah. watching. But it, they gonna they going to. Uh, My figure opinion that out. of this episode was filler. Yeah, <laughs> filler. It, was, it was definitely filler. Yeah, it was definitely filler. And then there was this crazy scene that isn't worth mentioning, but since we're here, the stripper girl. Oh yeah, time What the hell was that? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It, it seemed like it was they were so out of place. It seemed like he was being tied down so Tariq them could sell more, uh, you know, drugs. I don't know. I yeah. don't. Know, I don't know if this dude sell drugs too. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, if y'all know, you can put it down in, down in the comments. Uh, I do know what it is now. Cause there was something where he was like. Oh, he was out. He was put out the way so we can do what we needed to do for a while. That's yeah, exactly that's right. What it was. Yep, that's right. Okay, it took till just now for that click. It's Sunday. We tired. God darn it. Yeah. So we've been up since what? Oh, we can go to bed after two o'clock. Yeah. Uh, two o'clock. Tired. So yeah, 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 fam. So we got to re working with Mo now. So let's stick around and see how the hell that's gonna pan out. Straight from the beer. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.